July 16th of 1988, Florence Griffith Joyner from the United States stepped to the line in the women's 100 meters in the United States Olympic trials. On this day, she was only racing in the quarterfinals. However, she still managed to absolutely smash the 100 meter world record, running an incomparable time of 10.49 seconds. This performance was the definition of shocking. Never before had any athlete broken the 10.7 second barrier, and in this one graceful and borderline flawless performance, the great Flojo slashed more than two tenths of a second off the world record. From the stunned audience to the bewildered announcers, even to the other competitors on the track, this sprinting moment left everyone in the entire stadium absolutely speechless, and to this day, some 33 years later, this time still stands as the current world record. Flojo's incredible Olympic trials were but a prelude to the true dominance she experienced at the Olympic Games, as she later brought home two separate gold medals that same year, winning both the 100 and the 200 meter double on the world's biggest stage. What made Flojo so untouchable was her completely unrivaled top end speed. Over the first half of her races, she was still very talented. However, over her second half, her ability to maintain top-end speed was simply unmatched. Over the years, many athletes have showcased amazing sprinting potential. However, the top-end speed of Flojo has always remained untouched. Well, that is until now, because we very well might be seeing the next Florence Griffith Joyner. On April 10th of 2021, Shikari Richardson entered the 100 meter finals at the Miramar Invitational in Southern Florida. Against an extremely strong field, she threw down a time of 10.72 seconds, completely obliterating any other athlete in this race. Just like Flojo, the second half of this performance was where she truly shined. And with this new personal best of 10.72, she now found herself as the sixth fastest athlete in the history of the 100 meters. At just 21 years of age, Richardson has already proven to be a once in a generation type of sprinter. This season alone, she's already run under 10.8 seconds on three separate occasions, but the race that many consider her greatest came on May 9th at the Golden Games. Running out in lane seven, Richardson managed to get an okay start for this race, but again, like she's done on various occasions, her final 50 meters proved to be unmatched. With a finishing time of 10.77 seconds, she won this race easily, but what made this performance truly incredible was the fact that she ran this time into a headwind of 1.2 meters per second. This kind of sprinting obstacle is known to knock off significant time from a performance, so the question must be asked, how fast could she have run had she not been impeded by this headwind? For many, they have speculated that this performance would have easily broken the 10.7 second barrier, while others have even placed Richardson close to 10.60 seconds. This kind of time would place her as the second fastest athlete of all time, only falling short of the one and only Florence Griffith Joyner. Indeed, Richardson is throwing down some incredible times this season, and it's been quite the sight to see her over the previous few months. However, the reality of Shikari Richardson is that her previous few years have already been slammed full of historic breakthroughs. On June 8th of 2019, Richardson was set to run in both the 100 and the 200 meters in the NCAA Finals. For the previous few months building up to this collegiate championship, she had already been running extremely fast. However, it was on this day that she would go on to make history. Running in lane six, she got a solid start. And as you can clearly see, the second half of this race was where she left her competition in the dust. With a finishing time of 10.75 seconds, she not only broke the collegiate record in this event, but she broke the world junior record by a massive margin of 0.13 seconds. This was a stunning moment from this LSU freshman. Before these championships, she was considered a potential threat to bring home the victory. However, after this performance, she quickly became one of the favorites to bring home a world championship medal. 
following this historic 100 meter breakthrough, she was set to run in the 200 meters, where she was also considered one of the heavy favorites before the finals. Leading up to this race, she had run a new personal best of 22.57 on May 11th. However, for this race, once again, she would go on to make history. In one of the closest finishes in 200 meter racing history, Shikari Richardson and Angie Anellis appeared to finish at almost the exact same moment. However, the victor for this race was Anellis, who won with a time of 22.16 seconds. However, finishing just one one hundredth of a second behind was Richardson, who once again broke the world junior record for this event, clocking a time of 22.17 seconds. Over the course of just two hours, Richardson had broken two world junior records, and the significance of both of these times is truly extraordinary. First, let's take a look at the 100 meters. This finish of 10.75 broke a record that had previously stood for 42 years. That's right, 42 years. That is an insane amount of time. If we rewind all the way back to July 1st of 1977, Marlies Olsner from Germany ran a time of 10.88 seconds, which made her the first athlete ever to break the 11 second barrier. And as fast as this time was, it doesn't even come close to Richardson's 10.75. Already at the age of 19, Richardson was ranked as the ninth fastest athlete ever in this event, and this is just the 100 meters. Now for her 200 meter performance, Richardson's time of 22.17 took down the previous world junior mark of Natalia Bocina, who ran a time of 22.19 all the way back in 1980. In the 1980 Olympic Finals, she placed second while breaking her world junior record. And if we again fast forward almost four decades, we can see Shikari Richardson once again crushing the previous world junior record. After this incredible showing at the NCAA Championships, she quickly made the decision to become a professional sprinter. And after another solid year in 2020, she has entered this 2021 Olympic cycle with extraordinary poise. Every time Richardson has raced this year, her margins of victory have been enormous. For her stellar 10.72, she won this race by 0.35 seconds. And then just a few weeks later, for her epic 10.77, she won this race by 0.31 seconds. These margins of victory almost never happen, especially in the professional ranks. But every once in a while, you get an athlete like this. And when you do, you should stop and appreciate each and every race where she's running, because these performances are truly once in a generation. From the flashy hair to the long fingernails, even to the way she wins her races, the similarities between Richardson and Flojo are simply too great to ignore. But the real question now is can she maintain her momentum and throw down solid performances in this year's Olympic Games? Leave a comment down below and let us know how fast you think Shikari Richardson will run this year, and ultimately, will she bring home an Olympic gold medal? Thanks for watching everyone, and as always, thanks for watching.